Alright, next up we have Time Attack Mode, which is very similar to the ones in Mario Party Island Tour. Play 10 mini games as fast as you can, try to beat your best time. And it only takes about like 15 minutes and such to actually do this. So I'm going to be using Koopa Trooper for this one. So I figure why not. And hey, there's Kemek, uh, just rowing the boat. So yeah, um, here we are, at this little, um, little lake. Welcome to Time Attack, you wanna hear about the rules? Sure. Try to complete 10 minigames as fast as you can. Your final time in, is in a total of each minigame's complete, co compilation, uh, completing time. Each minigame also has a bonus objective, and it's to cut 3 seconds off your compilation time for that minigame. Okay, so that's uh, pretty cool. Try to complete each minigame as fast as you can. And um, since we are going to revisit this uh, mode, you can actually view those records. Like, as you can see uh, right there, this is my original time. That um, that was the one that one time I actually did done this back in originally in 2013, one of my first ever recording videos on Mario Party 9. But somehow it was being removed due to the fact the poor quality and um, plus the dialogue itself can be a little bit clunky at first and plus the volume is actually very very quiet. But thankfully though the capture card is actually um, get the direct audio going. And also as you can see right there that actually has a staff data onto that, that right there. His um, staff best is actually 3 minutes and 50, 58 seconds and 43 milliseconds. Well, mine is like 5 minutes and 25 seconds and 70 milliseconds. So, um, yeah, as you can see, we're actually going to be playing through 10 minigames. Uh, the only minigames we haven't played, although we have Snow Go, Jigsaw Jumble, Pick Position, sp Speeding Bullets, um, Chain Events, Ballistic Beach, Upward Mobility, Pizza Me Mario, Finger Painting, and Plittle Pelter. So, you can also choose uh, what order you're going to be put in, but I'm not going to save first for that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And there's like Blue Toad is about to untie the um, the rope up. So, yeah. So here's the first mini game, Snow Go. Complete 10 laps on your snowmobile. And the boss objective here is to actually use the dash ramp on every lap. So meaning there are 10 laps we have to do this. And I'm pretty sure Snow Go is actually the minigame we haven't played yet. Complete 10 laps as fast as you can. Use the dash ramp to avoid losing speed in the deep snow. But, um, uh, usually, yeah. Basically, that the minigame we haven't usually played from this part in particular, so yeah. Hold the Wiimote sideways, press D-pad to steer, 2 to accelerate, and 1 to reverse. If you get frozen by a snowball, shake the Wiimote to escape. So yeah, um, as far as when these uh, minigames do also count as um, we haven't played these minigames on during the um, throughout this playthrough. Actually though, those don't count because um, they're usually just basically just a little single player version of the, uh, the minigames themselves. Or some of those minigames in general. But uh, we'll show this minigame again until we actually get into free play mode until we after we've done the boss rush. Speaking of boss rush, that um, much like DK's Jungle Ruins, that um, boss rush is actually the unlockable um, mode, and also same goes to Bowser's Station as well, and including the Shy Guy and Kemek as playable characters in all those modes except solo play. You know, just like how it does it in Mario Party 3, where um, in Mario Party 3, that um, the only um, non-playable, uh, the only um, characters that you can't play in um, story mode is both Daisy and Waluigi. But um, I think it's also the same goes for this game too. So um, yeah. All right, so I've pretty much got the bonus objective clear. So that means I pretty much got through all these um, boost ramps onto every single lap. Alright, next up is Jigsaw Jumble, the objective is to complete 5 puzzles, and the most objective here is to actually place the correct pieces. So, um, sometimes you have to keep an eye out the, uh, the pieces themselves, but um, sometimes though, I always get like uh, one piece um, actually just to be left intact, or in this case, to somehow get this mistake. So I have to think really, really clearly, so... Um, I'm guessing it's just on the right piece. Start! So, which is basically this one. Yep, that's correct. 
I'm hoping that I can get a bonus objective or something like this because um, even though that, well, and as far as this mode is concerned, that this mode is exactly like the ones in uh, Time Attack mode in Mario Party Island Tour, as well as the Bowser Challenge in uh, Mario Party 10. However, though, that, um, oh god, um, is it this one? Ah, I failed on that bonus objective. Oh, which one is it? Is it this one? Ah, it's this one. See, this is all. This is what every single time when I always get overly um, screwed over by trying to get the bonus objective, this is the easily the last puzzle piece. But still, but we'll just um, I'll just pass on that one. All right, so next we have peak position, and the objective is to climb to the top of the wall, and the bonus objective is to press only the correct buttons. So, yeah, not too e not too hard actually. It's just that uh, well. And, uh, you know, as far as when, uh, same goes for it does it, just like how it does it in the, um, Mario Party 10's Bowser Challenge, that, uh, you could go through all of the Bowser minigames in, um, like, in Mario Party 10. Like, you play as Bowser the whole time, and then see if how much, um, hearts you actually attain from, or in this case, when these opponents got actually lost by Bowser's contraptions. So, that's basically what you can get for this little part right here. And in front of him enough, I actually beat a record. For over about like, um, not exactly sure, I think it's about 17 milliseconds uh, behind, so not too shabby. As far as the, um, the bonus objectives is concerned between this game as well as Mario Party Island Tour, um, on, um, however though, I will must say though, that unlike Mario Party Island Tour, when you, um, it's a bit of a pain to actually Oh yeah, speeding bullets. The objective is to ride the bullet bill all your way to the goal, and the bonus objective is to pass ev o over every dash zone. So, yeah, I don't have many problems with this minigame though, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Alright, so, um, yeah, however, unlike Mario Party Island Tour, that, I mean, Mario Party Island Tour's time attack mode is a bit of a pain Start. sometimes when you're trying to attain every single of those um, bonus objectives as possible, but, um, at least in this one is actually a bit easier, because there was like, although some of them are quite easy, predictably if I would be the master of these minigames, predictably speeding bullets as you probably can see, and then there's also, um, like, pre-position and snow go, and as well as the chain events we're about to get in and into, and as well as the, um, oh, I was off by two milliseconds off, <laughs> just like how he does it on, um, well, um, when I'd done this on the, um, Step It Up, uh, as Waluigi, so that's basically the exact same time as I actually be in. But somehow I got the most objective here, so, yeah. Alright, so next mini game we have is Chain Events. The objective here is just to avoid the spike balls and reach the bottom. And the most objective here is to don't hit more than one spiked ball. Oh boy, okay. I think I might actually going to do this because um, sometimes that it might be a bit tricky just to actually time yourselves directly, or in this case, time it carefully just to dodge those. Okay, dodge the spike balls and slide down with the chain as fast as you can. Got it. So, yeah. Start! Alright, so. I guess there's not much I can, you know, just to say about this. It's just, um. We only got about three modes left until when the minigame mode is done, until, well, if I've done minigame modes, then I can show off the extras and then I'll show, assuming I will show off the museum mode at the end, so along with the credits as well. And, um, yeah, I will explain to that. Oh, I actually beat my re um, new record here. That's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I did not get hit by spiked ball at least once, so that's actually a perfect run for that uh, minigame right there. So yeah, cool stuff. Anyways, next mini game we have is I'm assuming this ballistic beach. Hit the targets on all of the islands, and the bonus objective is to hit all of the targets in ten shots or fewer. This is not going to happen for me because sometimes this mini game can be a bit of a pain to do, especially on um, the bonus objective wise, and as well as the uh, the timing is concerned. At least as far as, um, far as I know, that a lot of people seem to actually think 
that um, it might be a bit tricky to, to get this uh, minigame done as fast as possible. But um, usually when you're actually trying to start off this mode up, that, um, even though it just only takes about 15 minutes, but sometimes it might be a take a little bit too long just because of this minigame right here, Ballistic Beach. Because sometimes you have to adjust with your aiming shots, including the, um, the adjustment level, and that's about it. So, um, yeah, there's not much I can you know, just talk about, but this mode is basically very similar to if you're following on Mario Party Island Tour. It's basically like that, but except that bonus objective system is pretty easy than the ones in Mario Party Island Tour, because the, the objectives on Mario Party Island Tour are a bit tougher than the ones in Mario Party 9. Well, at least some of those either way, but um, still, hard to think of it that um, it might be a little bit true. Okay, let's see if we can get those two balloons, so in this case, this little beach balls out of the way. Alright, got that, so uh, I think we only got one more target left, and I've overpassed my record. Oh boy, this last target could be a bit of a pain. Even though I will try my best just to beat my record, but I don't think I can because of this. Uh, maybe a little bit down, let me just um, adjust it a little bit. Come on, why can't I just get it? Oh, come on, that's not fair. I think one more shot should do. Oh, well, just a little bit. Blimey hell, I wasted over about a minute and 37 seconds and 61 milliseconds. That was predictably one of the worst times I've ever encountered. Yeah, just from my experience, and also I wasn't able to get the bows injected. Nope, I haven't. Okay, next is upward mobility. Jump your way to the goal at the top, and the bow's objective for this one is to reach with to reach the top without jumping on this same block twice. Yeah, just like how it does in the um, Mario Party Island Tours um, space harpy mini game, where um, you don't have to use the same platforms twice. Or in this case. Slow G if you want to pronounce the North American version. Okay. Start. So let's uh, go ahead and do some little bouncy action. So yeah. There's also some brick blocks here and there just in case if you don't want to fall off accidentally and such. But hey, at least it always kind of reminds me of um, something almost related to like, I don't know. Well, obviously, if you play this on a, um, well, for everyone, that, um, it doesn't have any of those brown solid blocks. And fundamentally, I get the, um, the new record right here. And also, I think I'm assuming saying, um, the bonus objective as well. Which, sure enough, I actually did. So, yeah. Okay, next up, we have Pizza Meat Mario. The objective here is to toss all of the toppings on each slice of pizza. The bonus objective is to... Don't make any mistakes when top tossing toppings on the pizza. And this is another new mini we haven't played yet throughout this playthrough. So, um, yeah. Toss all four toppings on every pizza slice as fast as you can. And then hold the Wii Remote vertically, wave the Wii Remote to toss your toppings onto the pizza. I actually don't- I actually really like this minigame, it's actually a lot of fun, especially if it's noticeable where I actually love eating myself some pizza. I think my favorite would have to be the American type pizza, especially the pepperoni ones. Which I'm sure a lot of people already know of, of what I'm talking about. Even though I'm not a big fan of uh, Mexico uh, looking pizzas in my, in my honest opinion. I know a lot of people seem to actually have their favorite type of pizza as mine will have to be pepperoni itself. Which speaking of pepperoni, I'm actually doing one right now, just about to toss in them. It can be a little bit difficult to do the bonus objective for this minigame because sometimes you, um, oftentimes you get bad timing just to get those toppings in one shot. But, um, still. At least I can, at least I can get the new record for this minigame here, so that I will try my best if I, as soon as I can, though. As far as I know already, that, um, well, 
already um, play as, um, play Time Attack mode back in 2013, as I said. With uh, my original attempt on this was back then in 2013 when I actually did a first ever video to record Mario Party 9 for the first time. I mean, yeah, I did use Koopa as the exact same character as I did um, last time back in way back in long time ago. But I mean, even then, that um, I don't mind about it too much. Alright, so not too shabby here, it's pretty decent timing. Or it's essentially a decent time. Alright, fling the painting. Cover over 90% of the coverage with paint. And the bonus objective is to cover 90% or more of those coverings using 10 shots or fewer. So the new record for my time knowledge is the exact 22 seconds. Launch paint blobs at the covers. Um, cover 90% of the space of your color as fast as you can. Point at the Wii mode at the area you want to hit with your paint. Press A to shoot and hold A to charge a large paint shot. Release A after charging to fire. I think this is another new minigame we haven't played yet. So... This, this minigame does remind me of something almost related to Splatoon on Nintendo Wii U. That it's basically, um, that, um... It might be really fun for a lot of people, but um, since I don't actually own the game for that, and because of that, though, I just rather prefer to sound. Um, although it's really cool whenever I heard of it, but um, it's just I haven't got the game yet, so, you know. And I actually beat my um, previous record here, too. So, 16 minutes, no, 16 seconds and 70 milliseconds. Ah, oh, darn it, I didn't get a bonus objective here. Oh well, whatever. Alright, so last minigame we have is Pizzle Pilter. So the objective here is to roll the ball onto the glowing areas and earn 100 points. And the bonus objective is to complete the game without dropping the ball. So that could be a little bit precise on this minigame here. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so yeah, you know, just tilt. Just tilt the Wii mode to actually Start. tilt at the table. Anyway, so um. Yeah, that's all I can, yeah, you know, just to think about this right here, so, yeah. So that's basically Time Attack it is, folks, it's just you have to compete, complete um, those 10 minigames in one mode to see if how much time you actually just to progress. And, um, it's really tough to actually beat this staff's best, though, especially noticeable in Mario Party Island Tour, because I haven't beaten, um first place on that um, version of the time attack mode, at least in my experience. Hooray, I got a new record for that too. And with that said, combined with all 10 minigames I actually um, complete against, GOAL! Just like the ones in the, uh, the Monkey Ball, um, Super Monkey Ball's days. Well, it says like, GOAL! And my time in total right now is actually 6 minutes and 6 seconds and 57 milliseconds. But, if I actually had 6 bonus objectives right here, as you can see just about right now, that my time will actually decrease 6, 18 seconds. So for my time total, it will have to be 5 minutes and 48 seconds and 57 milliseconds. So, I was essentially quite close to my previous record, I was about like 23 seconds above from my previous record. Oh, my crowns aren't there anymore, I'm guessing that's because of the, um, the records are now moved on to my um, newer type of um, attempt I should, I should about to anticipate. So, yeah, my, um, my Ballistic Beach one is actually really good back then, so, I mean even then, that might be essentially true for this case, so anyway. And it goes all the way down where to the 10th was, where the 10th just absolutely has emptiness. So anyways, we'll have to set, finish these two videos just about right here. So next time, we'll let's play Mario Party 9. Now we're about to be doing Boss Rush, which will just should be pretty exciting. So see you guys next time. Later, fellas.